Alright, so I've done some more Pokemon catching off screen. If we look at the Pokedex here, as you can see, I have now owned 30 Pokemon. So now I'm able to get this particular item that we can go visit one of the Professor Oak aides. I'm going to go ahead and do so. I'm going to visit the one that's on Route 11. That's right next to Vermilion City. Because what I plan on doing after recovering this item, or after grabbing this item, I should say, well, either way, um, after getting this item, I now had to, we now have to head back towards Lavender Town, because now we can actually do something in Lavender Town. Okay, so we're on Route 11. Gonna go inside the uh, this building right here. If we head up top the head up these stairs, we will find one of the Professor Oak aides right over here. Hi, remember remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokedex has complete data on 30 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak entrusted me with the item finder for you. So, David, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 30 kinds of Pokemon? No! Oh, I see. When you get 30 kinds of Pokemon, come back for the item finder. I was going to say, I do have 30 kinds. <laughs> I thought he was going to joke on me and say, Wait a minute. You do have 30 kinds of Pokemon. You're lying to me. <laughs> I thought that would, that would actually be kind of silly if that were to happen. Great, you have caught or owned 30 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations, here you go. So we got the item, item finder. There are items on the ground that may be hidden from view. Use the item finder to detect any hidden items close to you. The machine is a bit limited. I, it can't pinpoint item locations. What it does is show the direction where the item is. Use it to get your bearings, then search through sus the suspect area by hand. So that's what the item finder does. But if I remember correctly, we actually do need to have the item finder in order to get this particular item. And it's in Lavender Town. So I'm going to have to head back that way. Because like I said, we need to have the Silph Scope in order to advance into Lavender, you know, get through Lavender Town. And speaking of which, I need to switch my Pokemon lineup. But I'll do that right as soon as we enter Lavender Town. Alright, we are now back in Lavender Town. Now I'll switch my lineup. I'm going to switch to Pikachu. And why am I doing this, you might be asking? Well, you'll find out. Well, first I need to take a quick trip inside the Pokemart. Because it did take me quite a couple of Pokeballs to catch some of these Pokemon. Well, I do have Great Balls, but... Well, I guess I could just go back to one of the cities. I'll go I'll go to Cerulean City really quick to get some more Pokeballs, because I like using plain Pokeballs. And it's a good thing we can go through all these cities in very quick fashion now. Alright, back in Cerulean City. Uh, where am I going? The Mart was right here in front of me. Alright, so. I think I could buy uh, 97 Pokeballs, can I? It's kind of funny it doesn't go all the way up, but I don't think I really need to have that many. I think I'll go... Let's go 40. Uh, plus the 38 I'm buying, but 40 in total. I just like using the regular Pokeballs. It makes catching Pokemon a bit more entertaining than using the better uh, variants of the, you know, using Great Balls or Ultra Balls and whatnot. It makes them a lot more entertaining. Alright, now we're back in Lavender Town. Let us head inside here, the Pokemon Tower. Ooh, spooky music. What could be going down, I wonder? I am a channeler. 
There are spirits up to mischief. I sense them high in the tower. So let's climb up these steps. And look who's here. Hey, David, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive! It's alive! I can at least make them faint. Let's go! Alright. It's our rival battle again. Let's just start off with a Pidgeotto. Oh, but wait, I'm several higher... Uh, several level, levels higher than your Pidgeotto. Still packed a punch and I paralyzed it. That's what you get for touching me, pal. That's what you get. Took it down in a single hit. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right next up is going to be a Growlithe. Gonna switch to my Nido King, so I can take down that Growlithe with a single attack. And of course, that Growlithe would have Intimidate, of course. Since fire types are weak against ground, this will be the move to do it. Ha ha! Your Ember missed me! Ha! You missed me! But I hit you! Yeah! Took it down in one hit. <laughs> Next up is going to be an Execute. Uh. Um. I want to go Golbat. <laughs> Go Golbat. <laughs> okay, execute. Wing attack as I take it down. Oh, man. Leech seed. Ah! I thought it was going to miss for a second. How does Golbat get affected by, you know, affected by leech seed? Why not just fly away? Take it down with a wing attack. Yeah. Take that. Now he's going to switch to his Kadabra. Uh, I don't want to risk it, so I think I'll switch to... I'm going to switch to my Charmeleon. Kadabra is not a Pokemon you want to mess with. Very, very powerful special attacker, and I don't think it would be very suited using my Golbat against the Kinesis. Ending that spoon, and there goes my accuracy. But luckily, I still made it hit. Haha. <laughs> Alright, some good experience right there. Now he's gonna send out his War Turtle. I'm gonna send out my Gloom. And depending on what starter he had, uh, it also changes the lineup of his Pokemon. Depends on what depends on what starter he has. So I got the War Turtle asleep. Good stuff. I probably got to teach my Gloom a better Grass type attack. Hopefully, it'll learn another Grass type attack soon enough. As a matter of fact, I do I do still have Bullet Seed, but I just don't know if I want to use it. Oh, woke up. Bite. Ow! <laughs> I can still get my health back. Almost full. Yeah, that bite attack's all you can do. You're out of here. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I got some nice amount of health back, too. Yeah. Good experience. Level 29. That's it. What? You stinker! I took it easy on you, too. Right. No, I, it's because I came prepared. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish. Unlike you. Smell you later. Ah. What a sore loser. Alright, so now we're going to have to go through the Pokemon Tower. Let's advance. I'm going to try and see if I can avoid fighting these Chandlers. 
Because there's a Pokemon that we can get later on, and I want to be able to put it to good use, uh, to later use. So we can run into Gastly's here. Oh, I was actually to avoid that one. I was able to avoid that one. Here's an elixir. Majority of the time you'll find Gastly's here. So I think I might as well put on a... Yeah, nice repel. Let's see, where's my repel? I'll save up my super repels. Uh, this is the last standard repel I got. Okay, may as well go ahead and put it to use then. Here's an awakening. Uh, I'm thinking I may have to fight that uh, channeler. I'm gonna wait till later. Okay, we hit up these steps right here. Okay, good. I avoided that one. Um. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to fight one of them. Give me your all. Oh boy. Chandler, Tammy. Tammy! Start off with a Haunter. 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 <laughs> oh, almost got him one hit. Nightshade. That's going to do 23 damage because it's level 23. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to give my Pikachu a little break. Good experience right there, though. <laughs> Gasp! <laughs> Alright, so let's give Pikachu a little break. Uh, I think I'll switch to... Well... Let's switch to my Charmeleon. We go down here, we get an X accuracy. And like I said, I'm going to try my best to avoid at least majority of these Shandlers. Uh, looks like we got to find another one. Ki 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 Jennifer. Start off with a get. She's only got a Gastly. And like I said, oh, didn't even. Oh boy, a curse. Ah, that's a useless curse. It's basically, it made itself faint. <laughs> well, Curse is one of those moves that has two effects, depending on what Pokemon it's being used on. Key! <laughs> if Curse is being used on a Ghost Pokemon, it will cut its own health in half, and make it so where every single turn it will damage the opponent's Pokemon. If it's used on anything else other than Ghost type, Ufqua! If curse, if curse is being used on any other Pokemon besides Ghost types, uh, Channel or Amelia, she's going to have a Ghastly. Uh, curse will boost, I believe, boost the attack and defense, but lower speed. If it's used on non-Ghost types, it'll raise the attack. Ooh, critical hit! It'll raise physical attack, physical defense, and lower speed. Level 29! Yeah. Something fell out! What fell out? I don't know. And there goes a repel. Ooh, we got a wild haunter. You can occasionally find haunters in here. Of course, haunters, I believe, are a bit rarer, rarer more rare to find. Here's a, <laughs> speaking of rare, there's a rare candy. <laughs> speaking of rare. All right, like I said earlier, we need to have the Sylph scope in order to get through the Pokemon Tower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to my Gloom. Why, you might ask? This. Be gone, intruders. What was that? The ghost appeared. Stillscope unveiled the ghost's identity. The ghost was Marowak. I believe it was the ghost of a mother Marowak that passed away. So this is the ghost that's blocking our way into the Pokemon Tower. Unfortunately, you cannot catch this Marowak, so we gotta make it faint. Okay, good. I put it to sleep. That's why I switched to Gloom. 
because grass type Pokemon work well against ground types like Marowak. Haha! <laughs> okay, good thing it's asleep. But don't worry, we'll be putting it back to sleep very soon. Oh, critical hit, good stuff. And I'm back at full health, too. Yeah. Okay, it's still asleep, very good. Hoping it stays asleep. That's how much uh, Absorb does on its own. Okay, still asleep. Come on. Don't you... Please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Please, 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 please. I'm really crossing my fingers right now. I'm crossing them. Yes! I attacked first. Come on. Put it down. Put it down. Yes! Critical hit! Okay. At least it made... It ensured that the Marowak was going to go down. May you rest in quiet slumber. 531 experience points. <laughs> the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. So yeah, it was a... Uh, the Marowak was of Cubone's mother. So now we can head up here. And oh, look who we have here. It's Team Rocket back again. I'm gonna switch to my Charmeleon. Alright, Team Rocket. What do you want? Why are you here? What does it look like? I'm gonna kick your asses. Let's send out Zubat. Quite surprised you decided not to evolve your Zubat into a Golbat. Ah, Super Sonic, get out of here. Come on, Charmeleon. Make it through, make it through. Yes, very good, all right. That's a good Charmeleon. Another Zubat. I'll switch to my Pikachu. I'm going to have to heal off my Pikachu here. I may. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a Thunderbolt to ensure it does go down. Oh, that is going to hurt. Ah, uh, didn't even level up. Oh, speaking of Golbat, this guy's got a Golbat. But hey, then again, I do too. This is going to hurt. Thunderbolt in the face. Ow, right between the eyes. Oh, 1 HP. Oh, astonish. Yikes! Uh, gotta make sure it does go down. Yeah. Phew! Good experience, 915. Level 29, Pikachu! Yeah. I give up. You better give up. I'm not going to forget this. He's out of here. Okay, since we're here, might as well go ahead and heal up my Pikachu. Just in case. Eat that Super Potion, Pikachu. <laughs> Alright. You are next. This old guy marched right up to our hideout. Then he starts ranting about how Team Rocket's abusing Pokemon. So, we're just talking it over as adults. <laughs> Yet another Team Rocket grunt. <laughs> I wonder if these guys were born being named grunts. <laughs> it's a shame, that's the only name they could come up with. So he's gonna start off with a coughing. Smokescreen. <laughs> And it connected. Good. I wonder if that... I wonder if that, uh... That, uh, smoke around coming out of coughing was flammable. Uh, drowsy. I'll keep Charmeleon. Ah, disable. Well, at least it disabled Ember. So. Just got to resort to using Metal Claw. Ooh, headbutt. Heh, <laughs> that was... Just one turn disable. <laughs> I don't think I was disabled for that short of a... Oh, come on! For that short amount of time. And I'll just give it a scratch attack. Yeah. See ya! Please, no more! Yeah, that's right, get out of here! 
Pokemon are only good for making money. Why not use them? You stay out of our business. Sorry, as long as I'm around, I'm gonna keep meddling in Team Rocket business. You're not saving anyone, kid. Uh, I think it's... I think I should be saying that. You're not saving anyone, kid. This grunt's got four Pokemon. He's gonna start off with a Zubat. Burn that bat. Oh. Burn, baby, burn. Alright, so down goes that Zubat. He's gonna send out yet another Zubat. I'm gonna switch back to my Pikachu. Because clearly Pikachu has the advantage. And because I want to, and because I can. Ha ha! That Zubat's not gonna fly anytime soon. <laughs> Ouch! Okay, Rattata. We go to my King of Nidos. You give it a kick to the face. Just a single kick to the face. And last but certainly not least, Eradicate. I'm gonna keep out my Nido King. Kick in the eye! Kick in the tail! <laughs> Just can't stop my Nido King, baby. That's why I like him. Don't fight us, Rockets! Well, Team Rockets got a rocket. You're not getting away with this. We'll see about that. And with them out of the way? Huh? You came to save me? Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Okay, so now we're out of the Pokemon Tower. David, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to ta but I'd like you to have it. So we get the Poke Flute from Mr. Fuji. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. So yes, there are some Pokemon that will serve as obstacles, and we need to use the uh, Poke Flute in order to get them uh, to wake up. And also, if your Pokemon are sleeping in battle. The Poke, Flute, the Poke Flute can heal that uh, sleeping status, so that can be pretty useful. Alright, I've got to have to go back up to the top of the tower, because there's an item that was uh, directly underneath Mr. Fuji, so I'll be back at the top of the tower. Alright, we are back at the top of the tower. So, unfortunately we got to use the item finder. We actually do need to have the item finder in order to get this particular item. Here it is. So yeah, it has to be done right on top of the space where Mr. Fuji was standing. Oh, the item finder is shaking wildly. There's an item buried underfoot. Dug up one Soothe Bell from deep in the ground. And what does the Soothe Bell do, you might ask? Well, if we go down here, an item to be held by a Pokemon. A bell with a comforting chime that makes the holder calm and friendly. So... It'll make that particular Pokemon's friendship level increase even further. So, of course, I'm going to give it to my Golbat. Because, of course, everybody knows Golbat can only be evolved into Crobat due to friendship levels. And with that out of the way, I'll see you guys back at the bottom of the tower. Alright, now we are back at the bottom of the tower. And won't we'll come back to the tower until a little later. Because, like I said, there's a particular Pokemon I am definitely going to get here before too long from a uh, certain NPC. And that said Pokemon is going to be a part of my main lineup. I'm going to give my Pokemon a quick heal. And I think we'll go ahead and go to Celadon City.
because that'll be our next gem challenge. And after taking care of all the stuff at the Lavender Town uh, Pokemon Tower, that Team Rocket Guard has now moved out of the way. So now we can enter inside that building anytime we want. But like I said, I think we'll go into the Settle Down City Gym and get that taken care of. Besides, this will be a very good opportunity to get some more experience for some particular Pokemon. So unfortunately, you're going to have to need a Pokemon that knows Cut in order to get through here. But I think there are some hidden items around here. Yeah, here's one. Here's a PP up. If I remember correctly, there should be one here too. Or somewhere around here. Well, I could use the item finder, but oh well. Alright, here's Celadon City Gym. It's already time for us to get our fourth badge.